up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is the team call me tia or sunny which i'm when you like girl so today i am going to be doing these butterfly locks these distressed locks boho locks whatever you want to call them i'm going to be doing that for you guys today and i love how it came out this time so i have some new techniques that's why i'm doing this like updated tutorial for you guys i did this once before and this time came out way better. This is the third part to my protective style series. So I'm kind of like doing like a little, something a little different. And if you guys want to see how I did the butterfly locks, then definitely stay tuned. Y'all know how I like to have like a tutorial plan when I am doing my braids. So right now I'm about to watch The Chic Natural. I love her videos, by the way. Girl, if you watch this, Hey girl. Also, this is like a three part series. So if you wanna see how I did my parting, the prep and all that stuff, it'll be down in the description box below. The hair I'm gonna use, so y'all see I have burgundy hair, you know, she's cute. She's giving, period. So this is the hair I'm using. This is by Lulu Tress and it's the Water Wave in 18 inches and the color is BG, so. I'm gonna take a couple out. And actually, well, I have one out. I just wanna show y'all how, like how freaking well I matched the dang one. Girl, love that for me. So, look at this. <laughs> this is literally my hair. They took my hair. I'm going to a little winery this weekend and I did not wanna spend money on somebody doing my hair. So, y'all know, I just do it myself. I really like to put it up into like a bun like this and then I'll just take it down as I go. <sighs> it really helps. I'm just saying. So I'm gonna take two pieces. This is how it looks. And then I'm going to make one longer than the other. So the longer side is gonna be wrapping around the shorter side. And the shorter side is gonna be where my real hair is. What I usually do is I'll pinch the rubber band because that gives me like some grip. And then I have the shorter piece on this side and the longer piece is on other side which is wrapped in my hand so this is how my hand is placed that's that's how and then this is the part where I'm going to grip the rubber band so I'm gripping the rubber band and then I'm going to bring it under okay and then I'm holding it and then bringing it under again the other side holding it bringing it under and then just doing it like that. Probably like a couple ways down. That's what she said. She said probably about like an inch down. And then she started uh, wrapping it. So now it is like this. The shorter side is over here where the my hair is. And then this is the longer side. So I'm going to go ahead and fluff it out. Then dip me under way. Now I'm going to start winding it up like so that so I can cover up the braid. So now I'm going to wrap it around the root, probably about like mm, that was like two times, maybe one more time, and then start going back down. So now I just ran out of hair because I definitely want it to be longer than this. I want it to come down to my um, collarbones. And so I'm gonna just put this right here where I left off and just start winding it around. <laughs> if I can just wind it like. Right up to the 
and then once I get to the end this is going to be filled up with the rest of this hair so I'm not even concerned about that really I'm just concerned about like getting it down to the length that I want so now I'm going to make a little loop with my finger and then start wrapping it back up that is it once you let it go like that's how it looks let go I mean you can try to bring it down like the actual twist part that you will the wrapped part down a little bit so that it won't look as like unnatural because you want it to look kind of natural right and then if you want you could have like little uh curly pieces coming through <laughs> you could have little curly pieces coming through too that's how i'm gonna do it this time so i'm gonna show you guys how i do that too clearly it's the next day and your girl got a lot done last night and tell mommy these are like my pajama clothes like girl i'm when you doing your hair you gotta be real comfortable because you won't be there for a minute i'm going to show you guys like how i leave a little curly piece out like that I think those are cute. So what I do is I'll put one lower than the other, like that. I'll just fluff up the two strands. Cause now I use three strands instead of two because two just did not work for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna just fluff up the other strands on the other side. <laughs> braid and doesn't matter which way you braid I like to go ahead and twist it around so yeah I make sure I go around it about two times so that I can cover up the base and then I start going down and make sure it's like tight not too tight where it's like and then I also kind of go like this if I want it to be like the little butterfly effect and then loosely and then tight so let me I'm gonna keep showing y'all how I create like the little butterfly look too so tight and then bring like one little piece out and then tight 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 and then bring one little piece out. I'll probably bring this little piece out right here. Loose. And then now I'm going to go tight. So you see like it's like that little piece. And if you need it to come out more, just pull it out more. And actually like this piece is too long. It's too long. The one that I left out. So I'm going to just use this piece. I'm going to make sure it's not as like frizzy. And then leave that part out like this pinch it wrap it around my finger I'm gonna frizz this part up so it will look nice and then I wrap it in the opposite way um, if you wrap it in the same way I don't think it will matter like as long as you wrapping it tight enough so that it won't you know come out so what I usually do is I wrap it around like two or three times around like the loop part because if you don't, it definitely will just unravel and you're gonna be upset. <laughs> so then that is how you get the little curly piece, right? So that is the trick that I learned. Hopefully that helped y'all too because it helped me.
so freaking good oh my gosh so this is how it is looking <laughs> So now let's style these edges up. Mm, my favorite freaking part. I'm gonna bring y'all in so y'all can see this. Okay, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful, helpful, and hopefully, hopefully inspiring. If you are not already, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Be a part of the gang girl. Also, follow me on Instagram and that's you sunny because I'm always like doing things first on there because it's like super easy. Like I could do it from my phone. YouTube, I gotta edit. So it just takes longer. So follow me on there to just see a different outlook into my life and stuff. And if you like these type of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up so it can let me know that you like them. And comment down below what you wanna see next, what hairstyle you want me to do next. And that is it. I love you guys so, so, so freaking much, girl. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Tell me